So going over the ingredients, you're gonna need about three pounds of chuck roast. You're gonna need three Roma tomato, one small white onion, 20 New Mexico chiles, as well as two pasilla chiles and two chile de arbol. And the reason I'm only using two of these is because these are very spicy and I don't want so much heat to be in the tamales. I want them more for flavor. So I'm only gonna use two. If you do like more spicy foods, then feel free to use more than the two. We're gonna need seven bay leaves. If you have garlic cloves, you'll need about 10 cloves. I have the minced garlic like this, so we're just gonna use about 10 teaspoons. About a teaspoon of ground cloves, a teaspoon of ground ginger, a one inch piece of a cinnamon stick, two beef bouillon cubes, a half a teaspoon of pepper, one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin, two teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of ground thyme. You're also going to need some corn husks. To make the masa, you're gonna need about six cups of maseca for tamal, one and a half cups of lard, and two teaspoons of baking powder. All right, so starting out, I'm just gonna take my chuck rose and cut it into about one inch thick pieces, and then I'm gonna put it in my Instant Pot. And this is a nice little tip um, that I have for making the carne, because normally it will have to boil over the stove for about two to three hours, and that's just really time consuming and, you know, you don't want to wait around for all that time um, all I'm doing right now is just trimming off some of the fat um, because we don't we don't want that so I'm just gonna cut up the carne and then put it into my instant pot all right so I just added eight cups of water to my instant pot and then I'm also gonna add the three bay leaves and the three taste teaspoons of garlic and I'm also adding in one white onion to the instant pot I'm also gonna add um, a teaspoon of salt I'm gonna go ahead and put my instant pot to manual and then I'm gonna go all the way up to 50 minutes and once it beeps then you are ready to walk away. But before I do, I wanna make sure that my valve is on sealing so no um, air releases out of the Instant Pot. So this is gonna cook in about 50 minutes and then we will shred it up. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and get everything else ready. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my corn husks and separate them and um, wet them. And then I'm gonna put them in a pot with water so they could soak for about 30 minutes but I just want to separate them one by one before I put them in the pot my sink is not big enough to show you <laughs> to show you guys the pot so I'm just doing it separately like this for now all right so I just have the corn husks in the pot that I'm gonna um, steam the tamales in this is just a large steamer pot um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece over it just so the corn husks can um, be submerged completely under the water. And they'll soak for about 30 minutes. All right, so while the corn husks are um, soaking and the meat is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and um, de-seed my chiles because, again, I want the chiles for flavor. I don't really want them for spice, so I just use a kitchen shears. I've showed this um, other times on my channel with other recipes that I've made. And I just cut them open, um, take out all the seeds and all the beans. Be careful when doing this. Um, don't go touching your eyes or anything because then you'll burn your, your eyes really bad. So just be careful um, when doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish up these chiles all right y'all so once the instant pot um, goes off you can turn the knob to venting and then that will release all the pressure just be careful that you don't put your hand on this part right here um, because the steam that comes out is really hot or if you know 
time gets away from you, you get busy, things like that, um, you can always do a natural pressure release and that's fine as well. So let's open it up. And here is the meat, all that delicious broth. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my meat and just place it in a bowl. Then what we're gonna do is um, drain the broth into a bowl. Um, be careful if your Instant Pot is hot. Not mine is hot, but not a lot. So taking a mason jar like this, this is two cups. I wanna reserve two cups of my broth and that's what we're gonna use to make the masa. So we're just gonna put that to the side in the jar right here. And then back in my Instant Pot, I'm gonna put the broth. Just because the Instant Pot is still on warm and we want it to be on warm. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my tomatoes and the warm broth is just going to soften the tomatoes up enough uh, where we can blend them up. So now in a dry skillet, I just have it over about medium, medium high heat. We're gonna go ahead and toast our chiles and you just wanna toast them until, until they're soft. So once they're soft, you're gonna put them in your broth that you have um, on warm in the Instant Pot. So once the chiles are all done, I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, two teaspoons of sesame seeds and toast them up. Now you wanna do this kind of quickly because and carefully because they do toast up very fast. So you'll see once they start changing color, then they're pretty much all toasted. And we put the toasted sesame seeds into the blender. You don't know your tomatoes are ready when they start to peel like this. <clears throat> oh, that smells spicy. I hope it's not too spicy. So I'm just gonna put the tomatoes and then all of the chiles into the blender. Okay, so to the blender as well, we're gonna add in all of our spices, um, the rest of our bay leaves, our beef bouillon cubes, half a, our inch of cinnamon stick, and then the rest of our spices. Just add everything in. And then as well, we're gonna add two cups of the broth. And I'm just gonna strain the broth into this bowl. <laughs> this is the only size strainer I have. Um, so it could potentially take uh, some time, but I'm just gonna go ahead and strain it just cause if, I don't know if you can tell, but there's, you know, just some chunky bits and stuff like that. And we wanna have a nice smooth sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain the sauce into the bowl. So here we have a smooth sauce and then here we have the meat and I'm just gonna go ahead and just shred it up. And there you have it. Perfectly perfect shredded meats. So we're gonna take a saucepan and get it hot and then we're going to pour our sauce in once the pan is hot enough. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my meat in as well. I'm gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes and once the 10 minutes are up, then we have our filling for the tamales and now we can move on to the masa. All right, so in a large bowl, I have my one and a half cups of lard and I'm just gonna beat it um, till it's like a nice, smooth, creamy texture. You could use a hand mixer or you know a stand mixer even um, to do this part, but I'm just gonna use my hands cause you know what they say, <laughs> your hands are your best tools in the kitchen, so. So then after 
after about five minutes of beating, um, this is what it should look like. Just be really creamy and smooth. Um, now we're ready to add in the baking powder and the masa. So here's the baking powder. And then we're ready to add the masa. And you want to add it little by little. You don't want to add too much and then, you know, it will get clumpy. Um, so you want to go ahead, just add a little bit at a time. All right, so you want to combine the masa flour um, with the lard until it feels like sand. So this is what it should look like. Um, and I forgot, <laughs> uh, it's real life guys, I forgot to let you guys know, it is a good thing that I didn't use all the chile because you are gonna wanna add um, about a cup in to your mixture. And then you just mix that all around. And you can start adding in the beef broth. It is better if it's warm. And you just wanna add it a little bit at a time. So then here I'm just gonna add in some water and make sure that it's warm. And now we're just gonna work this until we get the right consistency. So I added about four cups of uh, liquid. Uh, two cups were the beef broth that we had reserved and then I added an extra two cups of water. And um, this is a good consistency that you wanna have it. So now you wanna knead it for about 20 minutes. You are gonna need that elbow grease. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna knead it for 20 minutes until we have the proper consistency. All right, so, oh, that's exhausting. You'll know that your masa is ready. It is going to be somewhat sticky, but not like too sticky. But you'll know that it's ready when you can form a little ball like this, and then you pat it and it doesn't, it doesn't break it doesn't break away you see how it just it's staying solid then your masa is ready and now finally <laughs> time to assemble the tamales so i went ahead and filled my steamer pot um, up to that little marking um, that it shows you where this lays flat and there's no water touching this metal part so now we can go ahead and assemble the tamales all right, so we have our masa ready, our meat ready, and then we're gonna take the corn husks. And you wanna, when you grab your husk, you wanna feel for the soft side. Um, you'll be able to tell which side is like rough. So like this is the rough side, this is the soft side. And then you're just gonna hold it and then just take a spoonful of the masa and just start spreading it outward. I, I kind of do um, this whole area because I like to have a full tamale. So then I kind of go, you see from the center and then I just kind of drag out. You wanna make sure you're putting enough masa on the husk. All right, so my camera died. Um, I just want to charge it for a bit, but I wanna show you. Um, so I use the whole husk, so that way, you know, you have more of a tamale. And then I just put the meat in the center, and then you're gonna fold over, and then fold again once more, and then find the fold at the bottom, and you are gonna fold up. So then this is what it should look like. I went ahead and put the male in the center, just laying down, and then I'm, I'm building around it in a pyramid. And I'm just gonna do that until all of my husks are filled and I have no more masa and no more carne. All right, y'all, so when you finish your masa and your carne, um, this is what it should look like. And then I'm just gonna take some of the corn husks that I have um, left over and just Put it on top to cover them to create um, to create a tent over the tamales to help them steam. 
So this is what it'll look like when they're all covered. And then I'm just gonna put them on about medium high heat, put the lid on, and then they'll steam for about two to two and a half hours. All right, so after they're done, you take, you take your top off and then you remove all of the ones that we put on top and just serve the, the mess. bright and early the next day because I finished really late. This is Jose's breakfast before he heads to work. Oh, what a truth. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Very delicious. Look at all that meat. Man, I never had tomorrow like this. It's good. So good, babe. Two thumbs up? Four thumbs up. <laughs> good it's really good. All right, y'all. It's time to taste. You guys saw earlier Jose tasted it. Um, that was really early in the morning, and that was because I finished the tamales really late. So we didn't get a chance to taste them, so Jose had a couple for breakfast this morning, and I'm so happy that he liked them. So I'm finally, I did taste, you know, a piece, but I'm finally going to dig in to mine. And here is sliding around, <laughs> but... You guys, you guys get it. Look at all that steam. Mm. I love the the bread that kind of like is the loose part, you know? So good, but let's see. Mm. Mm, mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so happy. The meat is so moist. The masa is so moist. I recommend y'all trying this out it is tedious it is time consuming oh my gosh is it time consuming but it is so worth it because the end result mm, so so good all right y'all i'm gonna go ahead and finish my tamale i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel if you're not already god bless y'all today and always and i will see you in my next video bye